Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I have a project share. I always, uh, I love the Dollar Tree stickers, but I never know what to do with them. So I'm working on a vintage uh, or Victorian type of kit right now that I'm putting together and um, so I remembered that I had bought these little pot stickers from the Dollar Tree and they had all these pots that uh, they look like they're um, metal it's a puffy sticker so um, and I love the pot so much that I bought a bunch of them but I didn't know what to do with them and as I was working on these kits I thought I thought about when I'm working on a kid, I think about well, what did what did they do during that time? Whether it if, whether I'm uh, working with a different time period, whether I'm working with a theme, whatever it happens to be, I always think about everything that uh, that I associate with that. So um, I I always I love old movies, you guys. I don't know if you know that about me, but I do love these types of movies. And I love when they go and walk in the garden and, all, and so they have all these nice potted plants and flowers and roses and all that. So I thought I'm going to make a like a potted um, like a garden something you would find in a garden uh, you know that's really well put together. So that, that's what I'm working with and I want to share with you what I did. And I also used let me grab it really quick. I didn't have to cut it out because I didn't have to cut any out because my friend Jackie, before I had bought this particular die, she had sent me Happy Mail and she sent me a bunch of the die cuts already. So that's what I'm using right now. I haven't even cut any out. But it's this one. It's actually a corsage. I hope that you guys can see it. Yep. It's actually a corsage die set from... Carnation craft and it does come with the skeleton leaves and um, the little bouquets already put together like a corsage or a boutonniere and um, I will link this in the description box and also the the download but I'm not going to do the free download I'm going to link the one that you actually purchase because it's all the colors so whenever Carnation craft comes out with a uh, collection they always have the artwork and then you use the dies with the artwork and you cut them out. First you print out your artwork, then you just put the corresponding die to the artwork and cut it out. But I guarantee you that you're, and they always give you a free one, but I guarantee you that you're going to love having all the colors. So that's the one I'm going to link. But when you go on their website and you don't want to purchase the one that you have to buy, it's it's only a few bucks, nothing major. They do have a free one and you'll be able to find it there just by typing in the name of the die that uh, you're looking for. So anyway, that's, that's the die that I am working with or not the die, but the die cuts. Because like I said, I didn't have to do any. So here is... Um, and I'm actually uh, packaging them because, I'm, like I said, I'm working on a uh, vintage or Victorian theme kit. Look at how beautiful these look, guys. Look at that. So they would have these massive flower pots in the garden or even in, inside their homes and stuff. And uh, flowers was a big thing then, you know, they would take a stroll in the garden and stuff like that. So that's why I decided to go with these pots and these, look at how beautiful they look. And they are just the Dollar Tree pots. And I think you get four in a package, maybe six. And uh, look at how beautiful they look. And they're all different. So that's what I really like about it. There's some that are uh, more modern part pots that I didn't use. I used the ones that were more... Uh, or vintage looking or more ornate to me but look at that how beautiful that looks and I did emboss the backing on a uh, like a, the backing where I have them on they're not stuck on there they still have the plastic because they are stickers so I didn't really have to add any adhesive or anything to it look at that they are stunning guys so there's two of those here's another one 
Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that pretty? And here are, so they come in different colors. So I'm just showing you some of the colors that they come in. And here are two more. And I'm making this these kits, and there are five different five different colors in the colorways. So I'm tr just trying to match. Look at that. So I have one that has a lavender uh, lady, and I'll share those with you. I actually have them right here because that's what I have been working on. Where is she? So here is. The lavender Victorian lady. Look at how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. And this is uh, a tattered lace dye. You cannot get it anymore. So I'm not going to link this because you can't even get it anymore. It's discontinued. Now you can go on eBay and something stuff like that. And sometimes someone will sell theirs used. I haven't been able to find them not even like that. Um, so I won't be able to link it, but it does come, it did have a USB to it and you had all the artwork, you had all the background papers to it. So this is some of the artwork because it does have the frame dies. So I did one with the lady in case you, they wanted to use it just as a topper and not at the lady. And then I did one without where they could actually add the lady and she would be uh, 3D. So that's what I am working on right now, the kits. And this is, uh, it. everything is kind of, uh, I'm trying to coordinate everything with the colors that I have going on. Sometimes they will not be exact uh, because I can't get it that way because the artwork doesn't come that way. But I'm doing my best to, I like to match everything up, guys. But look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So that is um, one of the ladies. So I decided to do these potted uh, embellishments, just kind of enhancing the, the pots from the Dollar Tree. And they're beautiful, guys. They really are. So I'm going to share with you how I did that. Uh, and I just, like I said, I left out the ones that were more modern uh, plants, but I did use pots. But I did use the ones that were more ornate, had more decoration on them to look more vintagey. And they do look kind of vintagey to begin with. So I'm going to put one together so you can see how I put it together. I just kind of cut them, snipped them apart and left the backing on them because they are stickers. So I didn't have to add glue to the back or anything. Um, so I'm going to add, these are little the little bouquets and this one's already put together. And it does have dimension so it's got layers. And these are also, this is another one. It all also has the layers, and these were gifted to me by my friend Jackie. Now, the lady that I just showed you has these flowers, these the this ivy and these flowers on that design paper. So I wanted the pots to match, and I added uh, some of the, if you notice, the plants have some of that ivy coming down because that way they would coordinate as well as possible with what I had going on. So I'm going to go ahead and put one together so you can see how I do that. And I'm going to use, this one is already layered up, but I'm going to use one that isn't layered up so I can show you. Uh, I did already use my ball tool to kind of give it, uh, to round it off and give it more shape because I like doing that. And you can do that guys with any type of um, die cut whether it has the artwork or it's just a die cut and it's flowers you can definitely use and when I say a ball tool this is what I mean and I call it a ball tool because in my cake decorating days that's we use these to shape the petals on our roses because I did make the uh, the gum paste flowers which were very realistic or porcelain looking flowers and we had to uh, shape them and this, these tools were called ball tools. So that's, I still continue to call them that. Anyway, so all I do is peel away a little bit of the backing of the, um, the sticker. Hopefully you'll be able to see. This is not going to be a long video or anything because these are so easy to put together. So I just, all I did was peel away a little portion 
of the sticker and I'm going to get my piece and these are the layers that go on it but I'm going to do those afterwards and I'm going to just kind of put this as low as I want it to be and that's about where I want it to be I want the flower the bottom flower to be to the edge of the pot and I did try making a hole in one of them and kind of tuck them in there because these are puffy stickers but that didn't work guys so I had to do it this way so because it has adhesive I don't have to add anything all I did was close the plastic back and this will stick to the pot so let's let's add the layers now in this syringe I have some glue that is called pin flare and that is also from carnation craft see it's almost empty um, I do have a new one that I have to uh, take out but there's still a little bit left in the cap and I'm gonna get as much of it out as I possibly can so it's called pin fair glue and it is a dimensional glue and I love that because you can put as much or as little and this takes the place of the foam tape there is also if you can't you know if you if you don't order this or you don't order from the company this comes from the UK so it's not available here I did find another solution but I prefer this because this doesn't have a smell at all uh, there is a silicone I think it's by Loctite and it's silicone clear silicone for like wind ceiling windows and stuff like that you can use that but that does have a smell and it pretty much works the same way except it does have a smell but it's available here so it's up to you but if you're ordering from carnation craft I would say go ahead and order the kit it comes with a syringe and it comes with two tubes I think you can get it with two tubes and the syringe on carnation craft and I will link it I'll link that in the description box so I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully I'm in frame and I'm going to put this one together and I want you to see to add the, the, the little vines to my pot, I actually, all I did was trim off what I wasn't going to use. But first I'm going to add my layers because that will give me a better idea of where they need to go. And because there's dimension in between, I can just tuck uh, the vines in afterwards. So here it is, and it's, I hope it's not, nope. See, it's a clear gel. It's I'm going to turn it sideways. I want you to see that. That is going to stay that way if I don't smash it down. So if I want to, uh, as much dimension as I want, I, I use as much or as little. And then I, when I put it on my project, I can press it down a little or I can press it down more. It depends on how much height I want. But that's all I need right there. And it's clear. And I'm going to turn it around because I meant to cut this piece off and I didn't cut it off because I don't want you to see this on the flower let me see let me snip that off I don't want this piece on the flower because that's the bottom that holds the bouquet together and I'm not using it as a bouquet so all I'm going to do is line this up here and then I'm just going to press it just a little bit and I'm going to show you how it has dimension so you press it as little or as much as you want and I'm just lining it up right there because uh, you can see where the pre previous one was now this little piece goes right up here as well and I'm going to do the same thing add my pin flare and I think I am going to add a little bit to the sides as well you might want to use tweezers in this when you have to hold these I don't have any nails see see what happened because I do not have any nails whatsoever I'm going to clean that off because I don't want to get glue on everything and I'm going to add these here and press them down a little bit so as you can see it does have dimension now when you round it off you might need to add more than what you normally would if you kept it straight because you're curving it so you're making like a little pot or a little well and you might need to add more if you want more dimension for me I'm okay with this I don't want it to be really sticking out way too much so now I'm going to add these little vines and I'm gonna 
kind of just see what they look like and where I want to place them. And this does take a, a little bit to dry. So even if it moves, you're okay. It's not going to, nothing's going to happen. So I want to see, do I want to put it in between here or further back? If I can even get in here. I want it a little bit higher maybe there but and the glue that is already in there in between the layers is going to hold the vine in place because there's already glue there let me see let me straighten this out so there's one piece now I'm going to get another one and cut it so I'm going to take one of these longer ones because you get two different sizes. And I, what I did was I used a little one and a bigger one. And I'm just going to snip it apart here and there and use it in that way. I think this one I want to add probably right here. And like I said, it does already have pin flare. So I don't have to worry about gluing as long as it's touching the... Let me turn it sideways. As long as it's touching the glue, maybe I'll put it down here in between these layers. No, I'm, I'm going to have to add glue to this one because it doesn't have any glue. I'm using the same glue, and what I like about it, guys, I can squeeze out as much or as little as I want especially in small areas like that and I don't need glue everywhere else I just want it there and I'm gonna pick this up and I'm going to place it there let me see how do I want it I can see some glue right here I want to make sure I clean that up or else you'll, you will be able to see that. There. And then if I want to add more, I'm I can go ahead and snip this one some more and add more to it. Uh, I want this. So here I am just snipping apart this longer one um, so I can use it somewhere. Maybe I'll snip it right there. So I just took off this little vine right here. And I think I'm going to add it right in there. I kind of feel like this one needs to be out more. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. And then I'll squeeze this little one down there. I'm going to add some more glue to this and just to this little leaf up here. I have a lot of mess on my desk because when you work with these types of things, you have a bunch of tools out and glues and, you know, you guys know how that goes. So there it is. And I think I'm going to move this one further up. I kind of don't like the way that one looks. I can see that this is moving and because that glue takes a little while to dry you're able actually to adjust and and everything and then when you get it the way you like it then just leave it alone just move it somewhere set it somewhere and let it dry I think that looks pretty good I like the way that looks and I'm going to go ahead now I put mine in a different syringe because the syringe that comes with it the little tip on there is so low that you really can't get and if you can find a syringe that has a finer tip with a cap because you do want to cap it because it dries out but when it dries out all you have to do is get a little pin straight pin or your pokey tool and just kind of pull out that little um the little tip what's in the tip and it's like a little plug it'll come right out and afterwards you can uh, use it so but i usually keep this and this is not even the tip to this this went to I don't even know what but that's the one that 
that's all I have that fits on there. So that's why I'm using that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I did to it. So here are the previous ones that I made. And for me, it's always easier to make them off camera, but I just want you to get the gist of it on how to create these. Um, and I hope that this gives you ideas. Again, I will link uh, the die. I will link the artwork and uh, the stickers are from the Dollar Tree. So if you go to your local Dollar Tree, you might be able to find them. I think that a lot of times when they're real popular, they're hard to find. But we in our little town just got a Dollar Tree. I'm so happy, you guys. Um, before, I would have to drive a couple hours to get to a Dollar Tree. But now we have one in our local town. Uh, and I'm able to find some of these awesome hauls that you guys are doing. I will be able to just run up the street and go get it. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.